meeting is being recorded. Aj som smáni malo bebo tie. Tak? Da. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome everybody. We will soon start. Hello. Uh, hello. So we have asked with our partners, Fundacion TIPA, to invite people to go online five minutes before the starting time. So we can really be efficient in and on time. Testing, testing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, testing, good. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria will manage the, the technicalities today from Fundacion Tifa. Here I am. <laughs> yes, here she is. This is this lovely green sign here. We will start with our keynote presentation. Actually, with my introduction, then keynote presentation, then questions and answers, questions and, and then we will have the yes, and then we will have breakout rooms. Uh -huh. 
when starting, Victoria will mute everybody so that we can hear uh, the, the, the presentation. And we have um, Darko Komsho here in person, well, online yeah. in person for a Q and A <laughs> after his uh, pre-recorded presentation. So thank you very much, Darko, for your keynote, which we're looking forward to listening to. And then we will have 10 minutes of Q and A. So anyone can ask questions uh, of Darko uh, about um, how he has, um, used his uh, leadership skills to, um, to influence and gain stakeholder engagement in the projects that he's been doing. Um, and then we will go into breakout groups, um, small discussion groups where we can really discuss in much more detail some of the issues that came up um, with uh, that, that you wanted to really focus on. So apart from funding, which is a problem that everybody has, we thought we would really focus on, on, on other ones because funding can just become you know, a huge discussion which doesn't really get us <laughs> anywhere. So um, we're going to focus on three issues, strategic communications and profile raising, empowering staff and organizational development, and influencing and stakeholder management. So that's board, working with your board, working with, um, with government and some of the other stakeholders that we have to keep on side. Um, so um, that's, the, that's the format of uh, today's meeting and it's wonderful to see so many people here. So um, Goranka, I don't know if you want to take well, over. Um... We will, we will probably, uh, how to say, uh, uh, ask you in, to be very active in these breakout rooms. Uh, we have picked up those three topics uh, for today's interaction. So the meaning is to have the interaction, uh, the actually the format of the forum and the workshops is designed uh, to suit directors' needs. So we are therefore short and would like to focus on, on the issues that you have brought up, up as uh, important for you. So, uh, okay, uh, can we start now? I would really uh, maybe like to start. We are 37, we are above the uh, uh, the, the planned group. So for interactive participation, we thought maximum of 30 people, but I think we are going to manage because you never know at the last moment if somebody can uh, come or not. So Victoria, uh, yes. shall we start with the, with the with recorded uh, speeches, yes. please? Of course. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Welcome to our regional forum. Uh, as the chair of We seem to have a problem, a technical issue with the sound. Uh, Victoria, do you know what might have happened here? Oh, <clears throat> Lizzie, uh, I think uh, maybe there's a bad, uh, unfortunately, bad connection, but because there are, doesn't seem to be any other problem. Okay. And I will greet the participants in live. So we just recorded that uh, for the uh, uh, for the occasion. Uh, in case something is wrong with the uh, with the connection, hope with Darko's presentation we will be better. Uh, so I would like to welcome you on the on behalf of ICOM Croatia and Intercom uh, because we are. Uh, actually organizing uh, these forums 
in different regions worldwide and we would like to see how to help museum directors uh, in doing their uh, uh, prime job that means running the institutions. Uh, today we have prepared uh, the uh, keynote speech from uh, Croatia, from uh, uh, Southeast Europe region. ICOM Southeast Europe is our partner here. And uh, Darko Komšo, the director of Archaeological Museum in Istria and the chairman of the Council of the Museum Council at the Ministry of Culture is uh, going to uh, give you the speech and later you will have uh, the opportunity to ask uh, questions and answers. So if we can uh, continue with his keynote, uh, I would appreciate that, Victoria, please. Um, just I'm trying to restart it one moment, please. Well, in the meantime, uh, we would like to focus on the really uh, aspects of management, uh, which uh, are directed uh, towards the relations with the key stakeholders. Uh, some are those decision makers, which actually enable us uh, to do projects what we want. And uh, the other group of important key stakeholders uh, is the is of course our inner staff. So what skills do we need for a leader is a basic question actually because uh, we all have uh, finished our universities and have uh, degrees in archaeology, art, history, ethnology, but uh, of course uh, the, the work we do has a lot of, to do with finances, administration, uh, human resources, etc. Uh, are we uh, on, Victoria? Uh, uh, yes. I'm going to try it again. Yes, I think um, I think we still have this technical issue. So um, I'm wondering, uh, one of our participants suggested that perhaps we could share from uh, Garanka. Perhaps you could share the um, yes, please. The, yes, I will. I will just. She'll, she'll need to let me. So um, and then we will just go straight to Darko Komshov's pre-recording. Sure. Uh, just let me go out. Mm -hmm. We apologize to everybody for these problems that we yes, are having, I, but um, once this uh, is something Garang we didn't have it before, just a moment. I will have to have a, a dark or conscious. Mm -hmm. If we can't get the recording, then maybe Darko, you might uh, be able to give us a live version of what you <laughs> pre-recorded for us. In fact, perhaps we should do that anyway, as time is is marching on. Um, if Darko would be happy to just uh, 
Yes, but I agree. I agree. So Darko, please. Darko, would you be able to give us 10 minutes or so um, yes. of an idea about how you engaged your stakeholders to achieve what you have done in Istria? Oh, we don't hear your sound. Um, <laughs> I think the technical monsters are having a having a party with us today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes we can. Course. Thank you. Switch from this microphone to that microphone, microphone, and so on. So um, yes, uh, I'll do my best to to squeeze uh, everything in, in ten minutes. I don't have the, the questions that Goran can send me here, but I, I think I'm going to remember because I repeat my speech for like several okay. times. Uh, I apologize for my for my not perfect English, so uh, I hope it's going to be several ums. When I try to remember a couple of words. But my name is Darko Komsch. I'm, as, as Goran said, I'm director of Archaeological Museum uh, of Istria and also I'm the head of uh, uh, Croatian Museum uh, Council. Um, so we are Archaeological Museum, just a couple of words about museum, just to explain my uh, specific situation. Archaeological Museum of Istria is a uh, is, uh, uh, state museum by, by founder. We are founded by Ministry of the Culture, but we are working in the region of Istria, which is a touristic, very well touristically developed part of, uh, part of Croatia. Um, what we are specific, we are the, the, the resources, the, the financing is one of the biggest problems for most museums, but not for us. We are in charge of uh, a couple of large monuments from the Roman period and from the uh, Middle Age, specifically Pool Amphitheater, which is one which is the greatest and best preserved Roman um, monument in Croatia. And we have annually around 500,000 visitors, which gave us around 3.5 million euros of income every year. Um, 15 and Having the money, it's um, dealing with one issues and it's helping a lot, but also bring a lot of problems. Um, mm. First, we need to find a way how to invest the money we, we get, the, the income we get. And uh, the other thing is, so we are completely and con constantly in the projects. Um, the other thing is that when, when I became the director of museum almost 15 years ago, our income was around 1 million euros per year. From, from the managing and curating the, the monuments. Now it's 3.5 million, as I said before. Uh, 15 years ago, nobody cared about monuments and it was only a problem for everybody, but now everybody sees an opportunity to get uh, a part of, uh, share share a part of the, the money or get part of the cake, as we say in Croatia. Uh, so um, in order to maintain situation as this, uh, we are very good in, in uh, maintaining the museum and, and working with the, with the finance we get from that. We need to um, then leadership well, skills yeah. have to um, yeah, emerge. Yeah, and just... The... Sorry? Uh, there's someone that we didn't sign you, Mona. No, only was a data set. Okay, so... Um, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, um, so uh, mm, I need to, I need to balance a lot in between uh, the municipality of Pula, who is the owner of the monuments. We are not the, we are not owners of the monuments. We are just curators of the of the monuments. Uh, our founder is Ministry of the Culture, and the Ministry of the Culture gave us a lot of support in our work. So, in order to maintain situation as it is, you have a lot of we have a lot of pressure for different political parties that are part of the municipality, and also we have a lot of pressures from the media how we are spending money and uh, what we are. Are, we, are is the best is this the best model for the managing of the monuments so uh, um, I think that uh, the the quality of the of the leader that one has to have uh, in this situation it's uh, the ability to uh, negotiate a lot I, I negotiate a lot with the stakeholders from from different levels I need to be very patient in what I'm doing uh, I need to um, strategical thinking, strategical preparing for everything I do. Uh, also, I have to um, have the ability to listen to the needs, especially of the politicians, because 
I have to know what they want before they even know what they want, because in that way I'm trying to help them proactively in uh, getting the political points and also um, you need to have a very small ego uh, because you do something and then you give the to the politicians to, to have a photo and to get uh, the, the, uh, the all benefits for what, what you have done. You also need to be very transparent in what you're doing and proactive and uh, problem solver. Because if you're a problem maker, not problem solver, then uh, you're pretty much very soon you're finished. Um, also, I found very uh, useful not to be a member of any political parties, because if you're a member of political parties, you, as you came easily to the position, you easily go away from, from that position. Uh, but you have to have a lot developed very much political skills in order, and that's everything that, that I said before. I think that's a part of uh, political skills. Um, so yeah, um, you need to think strategically. So uh, and have a vision of institution. We we start. I also thank Goranka because Goranka is the head of my uh, museum board. Uh, how we have a vision of developing of institution long time in advance before we start to do a, lo a, lo uh, a lot of inf infrastructural uh, projects. Uh, we did a two very big projects that we have finished with them now uh, during the reconstruction of museum, which was the, which was the, uh, uh, the biggest cultural investment in Croatia in the last five years. We spent 16.5 million euros in reconstruction of the building that you see behind me. And we also did the reconstruction of the small Roman theater which is the only preserved Roman theater in Croatia, and it's behind the, the museum building, which it's now finished. And now we, we have another problem. We have another uh, challenge. We need to start to use small Roman theater and find a way how we use it for uh, presenting uh, only excellent cultural manifestation. We also build on the back of the museum large TV screen, which have a size of 330 square meters and in full HD quality. And that we joined two, three, these three projects in one, in one thing. So now we have really large cultural infrastructure that give us a uh, possibility to, to do a lot of, lot of uh, various projects. Um, so uh, one of the, the, the issue, um, uh, it's always the, the question how to lessen the impact of the polit politicians in the work of uh, politics in the, in the work of museum. Uh, we are our best main problem is actually our uh, biggest strength. We are the museum, uh, the, the, the institutions that are found by Ministry of the Culture and Media, but the most of the institutions that are um, founded by Ministry of the Culture are, are concentrated in the capital of Zagreb. We are in a sort of province. So um, um, everybody let us do our work almost uh, completely without too many interference with us. That's mean from the founder. And uh, on the other hand, we have a lot of, we have all the monuments we are curating are actually the, uh, belongs to, to the municipality, but they don't own us. We are not the city company, we are not the municipality institution. So they have to be very polite with us even when, they, when, when we collaborate with them or they need it. So we are sort of in a win-win situation in between two political entities and between two uh, that uh, allowed us to uh, do work almost without, not, without, without interference. Um, it's not always happening this way, and it's not an easy task. We will never uh, completely be without political in interference, but this is how uh, in my uh, museum uh, works. The, the one of the main issues in uh, good functioning of uh, any leader or any institutions are good team. Often we don't have opportunity to create our own teams, uh, but also we get the people who, who inherited them from the from the previous system. Uh, also, it's the problem of motivation of your team. It's uh, in Croatia. It's very it, there, there is no system of punishment and reward. So uh, often we directors said that we would like to have a possibility to punish someone not because he's not a good worker or to reward someone for his excellent uh, contribution to the museum. 
but there is a way. I think the one of the best things in working with team is actually be a good, good listener, understand who is good for, for what kind of work and uh, allowing people to, uh, to do with their own ideas. So um, uh, I think it's, um, for me, it's working not all the time, but like in, in 95%. And I think that ability to listen to the people and listen to the needs of them help help a lot. Um, the other thing is that uh, uh, we are I, I'm as as the Gorenka said I'm a head of the Croatian Museum Council. Uh, it's uh, an interesting and sometimes not an easy easy task. Uh, we are. Um, sort of advisory uh, council of the Ministry of the Culture and. Uh, uh, help them to 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 get the decisions about developing of the, of the museums in Croatia. Uh, how uh, how we set the priorities? Well, the museums are every museum is different. Every museum is special, and uh, uh, it's not easy to decide who have a priority uh, among uh, other museums, especially because you have small museums have their problems, big museums have their problems. Uh, we are. Um, we are a board of uh, seven people who are from different uh, uh, specialized museums. So we have we have very diversified view on everything. So by by communicating and discussion, we are setting the priority of uh, how how we are financial financial finance of a specific museum and so. On. Um, and at the end, how, what one of the the, the end the, the last question that Goran asked me is the uh, communication. How to facilitate the communication? What are the of, of the leader? Uh, well, you have to in the communication with with everybody, not with, with your co-workers, with your uh, uh, stakeholders, with the politicians. I think you have to uh, plan your um, speeches, your communication ahead. So not to be surprised by by uh, subjects and uh, you also uh, you have to be a master of what you're speaking about uh, you you have to believe in what you are uh, discussing and communicate because if you believe in that then you're excellent speaker and also you have to be have the ability to convince your uh, people you speak with in what you are believing that they're actually uh, good things for them as well and uh, as, as I said several times in, in my speech, uh, you have to have ability to listen to the to the other speaker and to understand their needs. So I think this is some of the basics of, uh, of communication. And I think with that, I would complete, conclude my keynote. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you understand me. Um, so, uh, and now, uh, as Gorenka said, uh, now it's question for Q&A. Thank you. Thank you, Darko, very much uh, for your concise and uh, very, uh, uh, how to say, a good insight uh, what, what uh, museum directors do and how they manage things. I'm sure that colleagues will have some questions. Please use your tool, raising the hand, so we can we can identify uh, who would like to ask the question, please, so that we do have any anyone wants to ask the question. For Darko, any questions? Well, well, I'm host, so uh, if anyone else wants to be in front of me, I'm pretty, pretty fine. And I, I see uh, another colleague. I, I just, I will just anyhow uh, shortly uh, put my question in sense of uh, Darko. Can you say just a few words about? You said at one point that problem solving is solution, and I completely agree. If you create the problem, not no point to do that. But can you, in one sentence, say how to do it? You know, uh, I know it's like a, a PhD dissertation, but anyhow, in, in, in sentence or two, just, you know, how to switch from that, that people are seeing the, you know, people are seeing problem, that's fine. But you, you need to look at the solving of that, not just creating or not just detecting the problems. 
Well, it's the, the question, as I said, the question of communication and, and the, the relation you have with the, for example, the stakeholders. Uh, I'll give you the example of uh, uh, the meeting that they had a couple of months ago with the municipality and the Ministry of the Culture. So we had a joint meeting about um, how they, how ministry could help in, in several problems that had that municipality have in, for example, doing some uh, archaeological excavation or in relation with the uh, local conservation unit. And uh, there was rising the questions, but then at the end I said, okay, um, I would. I, I'm. 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 The, we are the institution who would help you uh, do the archaeological excavation, not charge you anything for that. Uh, we will find our um, our interest would be to get some archaeological new archaeological finds. You would get your your interest would be to have someone who would do it for free. And it's it's hard to say in ten minutes. That I had the presentation with, uh, the relation with the with the municipality I had. Uh, it's we have a contract in which we are give, the, the 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 town gave us uh, curating of the monuments and we get the income of curating the monuments and we have to return some of the income to the to the municipality in way uh, in, in in work or, or or things we are doing. It's not it's question of uh, uh, this is what we are doing. So we are finding the solution and we are we are very well equipped. So we could find we could do a lot of lot of jobs and not charge uh, any other side. But you have to be in in a, in a way to do uh, to be a problem solver. It's not a problem maker. Um, problem making it's the 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 institution or the leader who often uh, offer you who, who just want to do, want something from the other side. You know, but if you are not asking for anything, but you are trying to get joint projects or to, to, to find the solutions to the problems, and this is what they had in in in, in front, uh, trying to listen to the needs, understand the needs of your co-worker or a partner or the the other institution or stakeholder in advance, even prior to the to they understand what they need. I think is the key. So uh, yes. it's helped me to to balance in my in my position for the last fifteen years. I'm I'm very good political balancer. I think this is one <laughs> of the, one of the key things. Yes, Darko has managed well. Danira, you had a question. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Konshaw, for sharing your experience. And I have one uh, practical question. Uh, do you use in the museum uh, external services for regular maintenance uh, of the museum, for example, cleaning services? And uh, if yes, which, uh, in your opinion, uh, which option is better, uh, having outsourcing or having uh, your own employees? Well, we have a combined system. Uh, we have our own uh, personality who, who do the they do the cleaning and to do the operation. Uh, it's not an easy task to find people anymore to do work for you because it's now we are, especially if you're working in a highly developed touristical regions as we are doing, you cannot find a person to, to do a cleaning for less than 10 euros per hour. And it's sometimes a mission impossible. So we have uh, two persons that are permanently employed. And we have a couple of persons who are working on a part time for us, especially during the season. We tried yes, several times. Is... Mm -hmm. We tried several times mm -hmm. with uh, trying to to work with the uh, outsource, but that cost uh, a fortune. And even a Maurer museum who, who don't have money money issues, money problems, problems with, with financing, it, you cannot pay the the outsource system of, of cleaning. So. Develop uh, inner system and uh, pray God for for everything. <laughs> yes, that is that is really a question for everybody. So okay, there are thank you. disadvantages and advantages of everything. <clears throat> Lydia, please. Uh, uh, just just one, co one comment, uh, pl colleagues, please just say your name and institution before the question. Just yeah, to it will be good. Inter yeah. Okay, hello. Uh, in that case, my name is Danira Bilic, just, uh, uh, and I'm director of the Croatian Sports Museum. My name is Lydia Milashinovic, and I am director of uh, the National Museum of Kikinda. 
it's not the museum of the national importance, it's a city museum, but uh, a lot of museums in Serbia are named as national. Uh, so, and hello Darko, uh, hello. I have a question for you because we are uh, dealing with the um, own income in Serbia. Uh, we, we don't have own income, actually we, we have it, but uh, we have to give all the money to our municipalities without and that's a very huge problem in Serbia uh, for all the uh, city museums in Serbia. We are trying to, I don't know, do something with that, uh, but, and I'm just interested in how it works in Croatia. If I understood you uh, well, uh, you have to give some percent of your own income to the municipality of Ula no. or no. How is no. the situation in Croatia? Uh, I, I completely understand your, your situation and then frustration as well. Uh, in in Croatia, you have two different system. One system is that all the money, all the money you you get from uh, uh, that you get from from working in your own institutions, go to uh, Riznica. I don't know the reason how to translate Riznica. Treasury, yes, treasury, yeah. yes. Uh, that means or you gave it to the to the founder. In in most situation, that's the that's the municipality because uh, as I know, no uh, regional founder like Japania, which are in counties that are in Croatia, neither uh, state work with the, with the treasury. Uh, and you have the situation uh, with the Versa that you, what, what you get from your, in, as your income, you have your own treasury and then you work with that money, not what you want, but you, you start build the projects, you have uh, several steps, how you are, um, how, you, how you could spend, spend the money. Um, yeah, my, I'm, Often very sorry for all, for all museums that get their own incomes and not get possibility to get the money uh, to work with. Uh, you the, the only the only way how you could uh, how you could uh, work in that way is actually to preparing the projects and to and to think in advance uh, to to prepare all the costs you have and then ask for the uh, your founder to to give the money for you and that that's the only way. Uh, I don't think that treasury are a good way. Uh, I'm again, I'm in specific situation. Probably the the museum that don't don't have their own income uh, think differently. It's better to be in in uh, in uh, some treasury of of your founder. But uh, I think it's it's much easier. And I when I spoke with the institution who worked through the treasuries. It's always problem. It's always for. It's not problem for a big project. You know, it's not if you're doing some reconstruction of museum, you'll get the money. But if you if you need to to buy a drill that costs like, I don't know fifty euros, you could not get money if you didn't plan it ahead. And you cannot plan that small things that ahead. So um, I cannot help you. I just said <laughs> that yeah, you have to plan ahead and pray to God that the. Uh, the system would change and that you would have the uh, your own incomes that you could spend for, for what you need. Yes, so, Sarah, uh, uh, just a moment. Let us give the opportunity to the others to ask. Okay. <laughs> Terra uh, Museum, uh, Alexander, please. Yes, uh, hello, everybody. I'm Alexander Lipman, uh, manager of international cooperation with Terra Museum, and with me is uh, curator, where it's uh, named. Uh, we have one uh, question for uh, Darko, which is more connected to leadership itself than to management of the museums. Uh, so what, what you had said, which is just like usual, like uh, parameters of transformational leadership and so on. So, uh, and what we noticed that you mentioned that really good communication with your staff, it's very important to the, to the success. So. Uh, our question is, how do you manage to communicate with your whole employees to convince them to, to share the, the common vision of your institution? And the other question is, uh, as a leader, uh, did you manage to make yourself uh, replaceable after you are gone, that somebody will replace you and to make it better place that, that you do right now. <laughs> okay, good questions. <laughs> Uh, first, I'm, uh, I, I have really good ability to talk with my uh, employees and my staff because I came from that museum. I was part of, I'm, I'm archaeology, archaeologist by education. I'm not a manager. I don't have any 
uh, formally education as a manager. So I came from museum as an archaeologist by accident to the position of the of the director, and I'm here for for the last 15 years. And I really in in one hand I really enjoy this position position, and in the other hand I, I uh, hate that I killed the archaeologists that that it worked really good job. Um, so uh, all the people I work with are actually my friends, even if it's hard to 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 maintain the relationship or friendship in between. The, the the director uh, or and and the, and the staff um, all the projects that that are um, that museum are doing are actually came from the from the platform from the from the from the communication with the with the people in museum it's not my ideas that I that I put from from top down this is the project that are developed in museum okay I help a lot but um, so in in that way uh, it's easy actually to communicate with people and help to uh, to to everybody be focused and motivated to do uh, their own job. Uh, I'm going. I, I'm having a, also my doors are always open for any problems and I'm open for any conversation. We are we are I think uh, just in in a proper size. There is a sixty uh, permanent uh, permanent employees in museum. I saw the structures that have around 350 employees and that's impossible to do any direct contact with the with the workers i know everybody that by their name when they when they are sick i call them at home and ask them how they are so maintaining a friendly environment uh it's also helps a lot in communicating with the with the, with the team um i'm unreplaceable so i never work in any way to create somebody else <laughs> to do my position no i'm just kidding everybody is replaceable and uh, I, I'm, I'm not working in finding my uh, someone who replaced me because it's not how the, the things are, are uh, function. But I, uh, for anybody who have the any uh, will to develop its manager skills in museum, I support it. Uh, we have. I also I like to support people who have their own projects and their own ideas because they help me a lot. I hate people. Who ask me could I, could I buy could I buy a pencil? I like people who are developing their own projects. The people who are developing their own projects help me, but also they they are creating the they um, how to say uh, they uh, develop in the in the proper managers. And I hope I know that there are several younger people uh, in twenty years when I retired who will be excellent my deputy so new new head. I just. Okay. Thank you, Darko. I wish you many happy years on the, in the position of the director. Uh, anyone else? I don't see it. And now uh, I would like to thank you, Darko, for uh, staying with us and answering the questions. And uh, as you all know, we are somehow uh, trying to uh, be interactive and uh, on the basis of your feedback, uh, we have um, made a chart which shows what topics you find most challenging. Actually, those offers have been also made according to the global survey we did and uh, how uh, the leadership assessment has been done. Uh, you will hear tomorrow from our colleague Lizzie Moriarty, uh, who uh, led the research. Uh, we saw that funding issues are on the top of the agenda, and we decided not to have it for our break, uh, uh, breakout rooms today, because it's really in this infl inflation times and global crisis, uh, mostly do not depend on us. Uh, so we will try to make three breakouts, if possible, uh, with three topics, strategic communications and profile raising. Then the second, empowering staff and organizational development. And then influencing the stakeholder management uh, and uh, relations with different boards and and uh, 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 government cities or uh, uh, other other uh, uh, important uh, uh, groups 
I would like uh, just to uh, show you how we have planned uh, to do it. So uh, we will use the very, very nice, uh, nice uh, uh, tool, which is called a problem wheel tool. And uh, we would love to somehow uh, share this problem wheel tool with you. Like, uh, Mattia, can we find it, please? Oh, sorry. Where is it? No, I'm there. Do, do yeah. Just a moment. It's not interesting. It's strategic. The idea behind the breakouts is we, we will do them. Everybody will um, go into small rooms of five people. So that gives us a chance to really discuss the issues and focus on perhaps some solutions to some of those issues. Uh, what I would like to uh, to do, uh, Victoria will soon put us in breakout rooms. Uh, so uh, please, uh, in the field of strategic communication and profile rising, try to make it more specific. Try to see what is the real issue you have with strategic communication and profile rising of your museum. What is the problem? And then after we will get up to the plenary and together we will discuss and try to find a kind of solutions, suggestions that you may uh, find useful. So now uh, Victoria will uh, 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 divide us in breakouts and please focus. Uh, of course, you, 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 you can uh, mention as many as you like, but we, we think we will have two or three suggestions by each uh, group as, as feasible uh, to communicate in the plenary back. So Victoria, can you please uh, uh, divide us into breakouts? Yes, of course. Here we go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Please choose your group and click join. I will join the number three group.
učio da dakle, preuzne brigu, brigu o kolekciji i ovaj, da napravi dakle, javnu ustanovu. I onda je dakle, oformljena javna ustanova Muzeja savremene umjetnosti Arsevi koja je dakle, dobila prije dvije godine u svoje okrilje i Olimpijski muzej Sarajevo koji je nedavno obnovljen i tako da je dobila ime Gradski muzej Sarajevo. I evo, dakle, trenutno uh, imamo jedan uh, budžet od cirka 220.000 eura na godišnjem nivou za oba ta depadansa, da ih tako nazovem, s tim da, dakle, Arsevi muzej savremene umjetnosti nema svoju zgradu već ima samo kolekciju koja je u egzilu, da tako kažem, trenutno je smješna u gradskoj vijećnici, a naše kancelarije i prostore su u Olimpijskom muzeju, administracija, dakle, i vodimo naravno sada i taj muzejski dio jel, Olimpijskog muzeja koji je obnovljen 2020. u oktobru. I evo imamo neke prihode od tih ulaznica Olimpijskog muzeja, a za posjetu kolekcije Arsevi se plaća ulaznica u gradsku vijećnicu. Dakle, mi imamo prostor besplatno, ali nemamo dakle, onda prihode od ulaznica za posjetu kolekciji savremene umjetnosti. Otprilike je to ukrat koji trenutno radimo na uh, izradi glavnog projekta za zgradu Muzeja savremene umjetnosti uz pomoć italijanske razvojne agencije. Apliciramo na razne IPA fondove, fondove pri Evropskoj ovoj delegaciji i komisiji da dobijemo sredstva za izgradnju. Naravno, uz neku podršku lokalnog, lokalne vlasti koja evo, čekamo da se formira nakon izbora pa da, 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 da vidimo koliko će nam izdvojiti sredstava za muze. Ukratko. Hvala. O, kolega iz Muo Zagreb nije još to sam someone has joined us from the Fondation Tipa yes, yes, yes my name is Victoria I'm coordinating with Gorang and Lisi the activity, the forum and I I just wanted to know if you were um if you could reach the topics we were discussing. Sorry? I just if wanted to know the topics? if you could uh, talk about what we were um, Yes, sure, sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can we continue in Croatian or you want yes, to? Yes, 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 go ahead, go ahead, don't worry, thank you. I won't understand, but no problem. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, dakle, Anita je već počela, pa i Senka je napomenula ovaj problem sa prostorom. Uh, tako mislim da, da je ovaj problem nekako zajednički, jer i mi uh, radimo u prostorima koji... Uh, pripadaju uh, lokalnoj skupnosti, znači Ljubljani, ali nije to, nije to rastavni prostor, to, to je jedna zgrada sa stanovima i mi imamo prostore, znači imamo kancelarije, imamo dve malo veće kancelarije koje koristimo za stalnu rastavu, a inače ne o nekih mogućnosti praviti uh, projekte u kući, Znači, mi, mi uh, gostujemo u drugim institucijama, u Cankarovom domu ili, ili u nekim teatrima i tako. Znači, uh, šta se mene tiče ovaj uh, profile raising, znači ono što, što nas interesuje sad, uh, kako praviti nekakvu um, prisutnost muzeja u sredini, recimo u gradu ili u nacionalnoj razini, kad uvek trebaš tražiti neki, neki, neku drugu zgradu, neki drugi prostor, gde je i časovno ove izložbe naravno su ograničeni, jer ove institucije imaju svoj program, pa mi možemo tamo doći za, ne znam, 3-4 mjeseci i onda, onda počnemo znači, tražiti uh, ponovo. Mi pokušavamo to nekako rešavati uh, izložbama na, na spletu, znači e, e izložbe, ali to, to nije ni, ni, ni daleko od toga kakav uh, uticaj može imati neka velika uh, izložba o, o teatru ili o, o bilo čemu. Uh, tako, mislim, uh, mene zanima 
neko, kakve i vi imate rešenja i kakve imate iskustva sa tim, kako nekako biti prisutan u javnosti, u ideju ljudi, kod ljudima, a kad nemaš ono prostor da može... This meeting is being recorded. Izbacili su nas iz soba. Tako da, je, tako je. Sobe su kratne. Da smo počeli. Mi znamo, mi svi znamo da bi vi mogli ovaj, no, diskutirati satima. Međutim, vratimo se mi našim glavnim liderskim karakteristikama, a to je fokusiranost na problem i brzina. Jel? Dakle, moramo, moramo nekako moći odmah u uh, problematici uočiti što nam je važno. I will switch into English. Most of you uh, understand me, but some don't. So we have to be inclusive. And in order to uh, have a, a good overview of the project uh, for our uh, partners that are coming from other regions, because as Intercom and ICOM Croatia, we will participate in international uh, research, so it's important that each region has its contribution. Uh, sorry for that. So, uh, can we have reports? What are the sub-problems of the strategic, strategic uh, 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 communication problem? <laughs> can we have from group one? <laughs> From group one. Yes, yes, I think that it was, hello. Hello, group one, please. I think that it is, was, was me in group one, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> it was quick, so I haven't, uh, so our group actually didn't have enough time and I'm sorry for Theodora that did not get to say anything because I was not actually attentive to the minutes. Um, but okay, um, uh, we actually talked about first the foundation of what can be strategic communication and found out that maybe uh, focus should be also on ourselves to, to think about and to see how our strategic plans, if we have them, actually work. Because we are from we were from Serbia and Croatia and Slovenia and Teodora, sorry, sorry for not, not getting the time. And Bulgaria. Uh, okay. Bulgaria, yeah. Uh, former socialist um, mm. uh, countries that uh, gave a lot um, an effort for strategic planning with no meaning and no checking the results. So this was something that we focused on, how to get plans, how to get the first the plan that would actually work and uh, enable to institutions that were mostly established in different times to be in this time and to develop for the future. Okay, any other groups, please? Please give short taxative problems you noted. Okay, we had uh, an interesting problem from uh, Markita from the, from the Science and Technology Museum. Uh, which being a museum, it's under the Ministry of Culture, but its theme is science and technology. So the Ministry of Culture doesn't understand it, doesn't want to fund programs about science because it thinks that it's about culture. And I think that's an international project problem. Many countries have, have the same structure. Um, and then we heard from uh, Asim, uh, well, from the secretary of the Museum of Mostar, um, talking really about um, the the city government being responsible for um a lot of cultural institutions but not really understanding collections based institutions and the requirements for the care of collections um that's money that is spent but it's not seen by the public um so they don't understand safeguarding collections for the future So uh, those were the, the yeah. two issues that um, we that we talked about. Um, and okay, uh, let us let us, couldn't speak. Mm -hmm. let us go to other group. Okay, Hrvojka, uh, where are you? Hrvojka disappeared as our uh, <clears throat> one of the group leaders. I will shortly mention 
it was uh, the problem that people see is different levels of communication and uh, also not formally educated for 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 uh, to be good communicators gasper please you wanted to say something yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, I was. Uh, I wanted to to, to present uh, what we discussed. Uh, we barely uh, sort of identified one common problem uh, between the Museum of Education from Zagreb, uh, municipality museums of Sarajevo, and um, I'm coming from Slovenian Theater Museum in Ljubljana. We have a common problem of not. Um, owing or basically not uh, having the, the space for our exhibitions. So we need to cooperate with other institutions. So to, to be uh, guests in, in other uh, institutions programs, which means that our exhibitions cannot last very long. Uh, so uh, the problem, our problem is how to stay in the conscience of the public, how to raise the profile of a museum in such situation. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, then we had uh, Michaela. Michaela. Here I am. Okay, uh, hi please. to everyone. Uh, we don't have enough time because uh, we were, uh, we doesn't understand our task. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, Danira from Croatian Sports Museum asked about uh, communication of museum on social media. So we, I was talking about that and that's all. But I want to tell uh, to Darko Komšo that I really appreciate his uh, look on, uh, on politi uh, politi yes, politics and politicians in uh, museum work. And uh, I want to tell that I'm really jealous about his income, uh, museum income. Everybody's <laughs> so, jealous on his yes, income. Yes, yes. In Southeast Europe, everyone is jealous on his and income. And I will call position, it's, not, it's not that easy. <laughs> Others' fruit is always sweeter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's all. OK, thank you. Uh, anyone else, please? Shall I, shall I ask uh, something? <clears throat> Do you, uh, how many of you uh, have a communication strategy and branding strategy in your museum? I have branding strategy, but it's you from have our, branding. yes, mm -hmm. but it's from our uh, European project, you know, mm -hmm. of, uh, oh my God, restoration of museum building and everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I don't okay. have the real one, you know. And the communication yes. strategy? No, no, no. But I'm working on it. Uh, yes. Anybody else has a communication strategy? We, we have also, but uh, also from the European project. Oh, so cool. And uh, uh, yes, and it's uh, not um, the real one for our everyday tasks. So, and I just want to say, uh, maybe in political uh, context, uh, it's not that the uh, Ministry of Culture does not understand us at all, but does not understand our specific science and technology programs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Darko, Darko, could you please? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, well, I wanted to report about Group 6 uh, quickly. Uh, uh, okay. I will do that as, a, as obligation. The, the first thing which we had is the issue five, uh, two of uh, out of five people have problems with the internet, which is strategic communication for sure, mm -hmm. uh, especially especially for this. And then what we recognize in, in a short time, uh, one museum actually recognized uh, that the communication uh, within local community is fine, but uh, because of the quality of the museum, they would like to have better communication with a wider community. So going beyond the municipality and so on. The next museum uh, recognized that fresh group of the people doing communication because communication was, well, it's sold now anyhow, but uh, before it was quite old and not, not good at all. So that fresh idea coming in a way of communication 
and the, the, the uh, uh, another museum recognized that hard communication with a uh, with a government but with with, with, with with owner so that's just shortly what we have in the group thanks mm -hmm. okay so uh i think we are ready for our next task uh next problem wheel uh we will now go uh to uh how to say let me let me do the is it a, a profile reading so let us go to the just a moment uh, i have to find it it will be the same principle so trying quickly uh, to find the to find the um, the basic uh, issues that trouble you when you are just a moment now I'm here yes sorry it's really annoying. <laughs> from me now would like to share oh my god where is it where are you sorry now it's the wrong thing shared again okay do we have this one right now no we don't have it again or this one empowering stuff okay we will use this one you still have the chart on a, on a, on a, on a yeah, i still have the chart i yeah. can see it just a moment because i have a stop, stop sharing and share again First, stop yeah. sharing and then share again so it's like this because i see us and i see uh, this and then i realize now you see it empowering yeah, stuff yeah yeah now it's okay 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 thank you so uh, victoria will again break us in the uh, uh, in the breakout rooms and we will talk now how uh, uh, what is the problem with our inner organization so uh, in the this strategic communication we mainly how to say uh, were uh, externally oriented but let us go a little bit inside our institutions and see how we can organize and enable people to work better in our our uh, uh, museums and what prevents that what do you feel is an obstacle in doing it properly can we go to uh, breakout rooms, please? Yes, of course. Here we go.
Hello, we are back, everybody. So with our internal structures, organization, empowering staff. So do we have uh, reporters, please, now that we, we see what, what is troubling people? So we have in Sala number two, we have discussed uh, uh, how to, uh, and what, are, what are the things with the staff and problems with the staff and organization development. Uh, we discuss basics as we had uh, uh, several similar things that I point out in my uh, speech. Um, also, Teodora from Bulgaria have presented us an, an interesting evaluation system that they developed in their institution in order that people um, do uh, some self-evaluating system at the end of the year, also evaluate contribution to another people in museum, how they develop, how they contribute to the museum work. And uh, they believe that their system helped them uh, become better and get the more donation from, from other staff as well. So and also I like the idea, and that's the system that to not punish or reward you, but to, to do some sort of uh, self-evaluation system that helps you to better work in a team. Like some accreditation uh, uh, model for the staff, yeah. okay, Gasper? Thank you. Um, I, I just uh, named myself uh, a reporter of our uh, room number four. Okay. Uh, we were uh, speaking about three things. Uh, first was the, um, so how to create the atmosphere where uh, the employees work together. So as a team, not so much uh, each employee or each, uh, um, yes, each employee on uh, her or his own project. And there was one uh, very interesting uh, remark um, that uh, a colleague uh, did. Uh, so he, he has a museum that is divided in four different places. Uh, and uh, usually these uh, houses were competing uh, among each other. So what he did is he created uh, several projects that uh, included all of them. So they, he sort of forced people to work together, to get to know each other, uh, to help each other. So, and this worked very well. Um, uh, the, the second thing was how to, uh, we, we found that uh, in ex Yugoslavia states, we are used to this uh, self-government uh, approach, which is that there is no responsibility. People are talking, oh, this is the problem. Someone should say, should, should solve this and we should do that. And the ministry should do that. But there is no uh, responsibility and there is no people stepping up and uh, sort of, you know, uh, suggesting the action that they will do. You know, it's always someone else has to do it. And then we discussed that it's exactly our job as the CEOs to sort of in a polite way delegate such responsibility to a certain person or to, to make it as a, as a coordinator of a, of a team. And Thank then the, you. Sometimes, okay. uh, uh, sometimes do we, uh, it, it is good as a food for thought, uh, this responsibility, do people really want it or not? For example, uh, just a small digression. I was uh, in museums. I often have a feeling that people are afraid of responsibility. While uh, when I was uh, uh, for MBA, uh, went to MBA uh, uh, education, uh, the people were complaining that they are not given uh, uh, responsibility in the real sector. So they want responsibility. They want to manage things themselves. So this can be uh, uh, something to think about, Darko. Well, uh, thanks. Very same like the uh, first and the second group. Uh, so that uh, responsibility of the people. Of course, when we are speaking about that, in uh, more or less in any organization, you have great people and you have those which you have, which are problematic. And that was recognized again, as Darko said, uh, in, in, in their group, again, it's not, well, it is actually about the reward and the punishment, but that reward and the punishment could be realized in different ways. 
So usually the museum does not have, uh, uh, there is no easy way to do reward because there is no funds. Uh, it's even harder to make the punishment when it's you know needed. Uh, and there is no backup from the, including the law and the government or owner to, to have more open hands in sense of, you know, having quality of the stuff in museum. And then we mentioned the uh, ethical uh, approach, which supposed to be uh, even higher and people, you know, staff must be aware of that. And of course, as a kind of stimulation and or, or, or uh, uh, assisting people is kind of education or uh, professional development, people could, could join in and that would be kind of reward. And then by that, again, connected with the responsibility, but may, maybe more in sense of encouraging those uh, all the stuff, if, if possible, but uh, especially those which are doing the good job, encouraging them to, conf to, to, to go deeper or confront to some task which maybe they are afraid of. So getting support in that sense and then have the, the, the better efficiency of entire institution. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rashika, uh, you were in another group. Uh, hello, everybody. Yes, uh, we were in, uh, joining the museum from Zagreb uh, and from Betina, a small, now smaller museum with just three people and uh, Zagreb School Museum with the 14 people, as, as Anita, the director said, and my museum, which has uh, 20 people. So we talked about uh, practically the distribution of tasks and jobs that is needed in uh, smaller com uh, community museums, and especially with Chigoranka suggested and um, pointed out that this uh, gradation of management or what uh, colleagues just said about uh, to delegate to uh, a certain people and to, uh, to, uh, uh, to get to know and to understand uh, the qualities of each of the personnel and their better uh, and their goods, and then to use them uh, in the delegating or the defining uh, their job tasks, which don't need necessarily to be uh, defined on the papers or uh, uh, in uh, documents uh, that define their job descriptions. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, outsourcing also as a problem, and uh, Anita suggested that maybe this what Darko suggested uh, that it's better to do inside with inside uh, workers uh, uh, to build the, 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 this uh, idea of togetherness and the joint responsibility of, in the end, getting the, the work done uh, on, on the outside. Thank you. Anybody mm -hmm. else wants to report from the group? Uh, um, we, we had uh, some interesting ideas uh, from small museums. So firstly, Stefan from the Osalish Museum um, was saying set long-term goals. To, to motivate people, uh, which I think is a really good idea. Um, and also being a small museum, they can swap around, you know, a little bit of what has already been said. You can, you can change a few of the uh, responsibilities and work together on different projects according to interests. Um, and then Valeria, who um, has, uh, is a museum with six staff, um, talked about during the pandemic, doing online um, meetups with other museums. So a bit like we're doing now and exchanging um, ideas and so on. And I think that is a really motivational idea. Um, so we had some, some good uh, ideas. And then obviously the same issues that have come up about uh, the legal problems with hiring and firing and, and the restrictions that happen outside the museum. That was us. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, uh, we have another another uh, thing to share, and that is uh, our uh, actually uh, how we can influence stakeholders. So it's the same wheel. I will not try to look at it once again because it lasts forever. Uh, but Please focus what problems do you have when you address the key, uh, uh, the key stakeholders, your founder, ministry, board. Is there a problem that you identify as crucial uh, 
in 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 this uh, and uh, this is our last breakout room victoria Could yes you please okay. yes of course here we go again try to be short and to the point please <laughs>
Okay, the breakout room. Since I'm the new arrival, I have no idea how it functions. So if somebody can reach out and help. Sorry, what do you need? Are we supposed to discuss something? Yes, oh, you are not, okay. I'm going to, uh, I would like to put you in another group. That would be great. And what is this? This group is what, inactive or what happens? Yes, in the groups, the idea is to discuss uh, different themes that we propose. Do we have a team? Theme? Yes. What is our theme? <laughs> yes, now we are discussing um, communications. Okay, so this is a very good example where the communication doesn't work. Because <laughs> we have no guidance what to do. Can oh, I see? Goranka, Goranka explained it. Maybe you miss it. She I just arrived. Ah, just arrived. okay, okay, okay. Yes, Goranka explained what we had to do and the idea. It was to go to different groups. So, if you would like, I can as assign you a group. But I was assigned to. I mean, I can see that here is Yuritsa, Matia, Neli, Ivana, and Branka. Is this an inactive group, or what happens? No, or this is the separate group that is supposed to do something. Yes, there are separate groups. This is the general meeting, and there are also smaller groups. Okay, so we are not in a breakout room. We're no. just those who were left behind, left for dead. Yes. Would okay. you like to go to one of the smaller groups? Not necessarily, because I've just arrived. I'll be together with the others. Okay, perfect. Okay, I've now, seen the where else? In three Sorry? minutes, I need to go to room three. Go, okay, group three. Yeah, my laptop was out of electricity, so I was <laughs> out of the. Okay, I'm going room. to assign you again to group three. Thanks. Okay, what? Is, I can't see your. Can you can you tell me your name? Yes, my name. Yeah, my name is Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, for the time being, I'm I can stay in the general room because I don't want to barge in at such a late point while they're in the midst of discussion. I just okay. wanted to declare. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Now, in in two minutes, everybody's going to come to the general group. Sure, I understand. Now. Thank you very much for. No, no. Thank you.
Evo, dragi kolege, ponovo smo ovdje. Pokušat ćemo nekako kratko... Molim? English. English. Sorry, sorry. Dear colleagues, uh, we are going to uh, have to say here some feedbacks from our breakout rooms. And uh, of course, these short times are also only the opportunity to tackle the problems, but uh, we would like to have an overview uh, what is troubling each region in order to further uh, develop the programs, some of them uh, you will uh, uh, hear what are our plans tomorrow. Uh, so, who is going to be the first one to report? Darko, you again. I can't well, believe it. I, 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 thought, <laughs> okay. I, I thought it is my task to be a reporter. Maybe maybe that, that was wrong. So, I, I just. Okay. The notes they, and just, they just, they just uh, uh, decided to have you. Yes. Well, <laughs> okay. well I decided actually. Not okay, them, good. but anyhow. Okay. And, and in, in short. Uh, what we recognize is that uh, sometimes uh, museums are in situation that, uh, you know, it, they're in between two political options and then uh, you really don't know how to, you know, it's hard to adapt because on one side you have, for example, you know, government, on another side you have uh, municipality and uh, they're in a clash uh, regarding their political view and then it's very hard to communicate, so there is a pressure. Uh, there is, we recognize that it's, for example, at least in Croatia, the pressure, political pressure is more uh, visible on a local level than on a state level. Then we concluded that uh, uh, problem solving is something which, which we hear in introduction, introduction from Darko Komša is you're supposed to be the problem solver, not, not somebody who is you know, uh, detecting the problems and so on. And if you, uh, if you have that approach, then uh, skills or influence of your stakeholder will be much higher. Uh, we recognize regarding the sponsor and donors that there is no enough skills, probably in all the countries which are included here, not enough skills or tradition legacy of the uh, quality of the sponsorship and somehow and no, no support on, on that in a, in, a, in a law, tax law and so on. And <clears throat> conclusion was that the visibility of institution uh, uh, is ex extremely important because if your visibility and performance is very good, that your starting negotiation position is completely different uh, compared if you are not visible and uh, what you are doing is not. And you say, are unimportant, yes. yes. Exactly. Thank you, Darko. Uh, Valeria uh, uh, is the only participant from Moldova. Uh, so we would like to hear you if you if you can add something. Uh, what is, what is the situation in your country? What what troubles you? Uh, you have to unmute yourself, if possible. Uh, yes. Uh, now. Uh... Uh, okay, now it's, it's a very difficult situation in our country because uh, our society is uh, divided uh, and uh, uh, we have different, absolutely different uh, uh, interests, political and uh, economical. And of course, the uh, museum as a social institution, uh, institution need to be neutral and to promote uh, uh, just uh, European value. And uh, I think uh, this is uh, this is our main uh, main uh, main uh, issue now aim uh, <laughs> issue of of course and um, sometimes uh, this is problem when we um, when we can uh, this communication between different stakeholders because uh, here you need to be a uh, very dip diplomat uh, diplomatic uh, because for example we have uh, belarusian uh, art artist uh, yes. which uh, uh, our museum and the other um, 
uh, we have uh, Ukrainian, uh, for example, uh, um, people uh, who is interesting in uh, collaboration with, with the museum. Uh, here is some, um, some question how we, we can uh, be, uh, uh, how our museum can, can be one uh, uh, place for uh, unite our society, but not to, to divide. Uh, divide yes. Uh, Yes, I can, I can yes. understand that this uh, present uh, political and uh, broader uh, political scope for you is really, really delicate. Thank you very much. Uh, shall we uh, go to another group? Anyone wants to, to present what, what's going on with stakeholders communication? Um, our group uh, talked about actually in some respects the relationship with the funders is okay. The problem is that some of that money might be coming from the EU, so it might not arrive at the right time. Um, so some of it is to do with actually how, how they use the money that they get either from the state or from the from central government or from outside in, in terms of the EU. Um, so, you know, if it's infrastructure, that can take a long time. Um, uh, so also, if you are um, replacing someone, that takes a long time um, and you need permission to replace someone. Meanwhile, that person has left, so there's no knowledge transfer. That's another, another issue. Um, so, um, uh, and quite often they'll support programs, but not infrastructure. Um, and the infrastructure, the, the program budget is very small as well. Um, so, um, it's a question of budgets being available when it's required and that can be quite difficult. Um, so that, that was what we talked about. Yes. Uh... Lubisha, you also mentioned that you carefully select how to how to keep your museum recognized with programs. Well, yeah, it's in our strategic plan for uh, we made a strategic plan for five years, and one of the main key um, one of the key aspects was visibility. I mean, this is a museum which is small to medium size with eight employees, no building, no heating. I mean, the building is it, it's a ruin. Uh, no, 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 there are no uh, conditions for it to be called a museum, but in order to influence stakeholders, one of the main uh, objectives was to be visible. So using the media, the, the, I mean, we, we, we entered into theater, into filmmaking, into the, how to, uh, this year we're making a documentary. Uh, so we, we, we're using the digital platforms to, to, to place our museum there in the community to, to, to be visible. When it's visible, uh, we can communicate easier with the stakeholders. And of course, one of the main aspects is knowing what the stakeholders also like. For instance, if, they, uh, if the stakeholders like ancient Rome, hey, let's give them a little bit of ancient Rome. I mean, uh, it's it's, it's uh, difficult, but I think it's one of the main aspects on how to uh, indirectly uh, influence stakeholders to be visible. And yes, when when when, uh, when you ask specifically about the plan, I mean, uh, we make a plan when we have one big project, one project that will make national coverage. Uh, last year it was about the, I think it was, uh, was about the blind people, I, I'm not sure, or was the year before, but usually one project that makes a bang, uh, two smaller projects of medium-sized projects, and lots of small ones. So, yeah, so one needs to make the bang, two medium, and lots of small ones. So that way you're always present in the media, but you also have the kick in also. Yes, media are obviously seen as a kind of argument for the museum, you know, so it can help uh, help people, also colleagues from uh, Terra uh, mentioned uh, that the media coverage brought them a lot of attention, and Miha from uh, Idria, 
uh, mentioned EU project as something that can be seen as supportive to the museum, but also demands some of the financing, co-financing on museum side, and then uh, it's, it often cannot be secured. Uh, so uh, uh, I would like to wrap up our uh, online session now. Uh, it's uh, what we have planned for today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, for tomorrow, you will get another link because this uh, uh, tomorrow session will be in hybrid format. Uh, we will try to have one uh, small group in uh, Ethnographic Museum. Please, you are welcome. And then online sessions because it will uh, uh, enable even more interaction. Uh, we have got an excellent expert from Creative Mentorship. Uh, and our idea uh, is actually uh, to suggest formats, how can we help each other in, uh, how to say, building the leadership skills. So, uh, dear colleagues, uh, please stay with us. We will use your emails to send the link for tomorrow. And uh, we are looking forward uh, to your participation. So, thank you for being with us today and good afternoon for everybody <laughs> bye 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 thank bye. you bye. see you tomorrow thank you and thank you fundacion tipa bye thank you very much bye, bye. i'm so thank sorry you very much. bye see you tomorrow tomorrow bye bye see you bye